There is strong empirical evidence that users are an important source of innovation. Amongst these users, lead users have been shown to be particularly important because they are able to develop not just highly novel new products and concepts, but also highly commercially attractive uh, innovations. Therefore, the identification is crucial. Lead users are defined as being individuals or firms that are on the leading edge with respect to an important technical or market trend and they obtain high benefits from a solution tailored to their needs. Therefore, they are rare subjects and therefore so difficult to find. In our paper, we apply a social network perspective combining network theory and lead user theory to identify lead users more effectively and efficiently. As information on the connectiveness on individuals is available at low cost on social network sites and online communities, this may be a promising approach to identify lead users. In order to investigate this issue, we conducted three studies. In the first study, among young adults, we were looking whether we can find a relationship between young adults and their network position and their lead user characteristics. And we found that young adults can be identified according to their network characteristics in social networks. In a second study, um, a real-world study in the sense that we took projects in cooperation with uh, Siemens and Telecom that identified lead users in the past, whether these lead users are different in their social network position um, and we found that they are different, which motivated us to do a third study uh, within a block of people communicating about technical um, issues. Um, this block is used by Airbus and other enterprises um, to post um, technical problems and in this real-world project in the end we could identify lead users in a block of people talking about technical issues um, and we speak about 7,000 people. Uh, finally, we can say, okay, there is a relationship between lead users and their position in social networks. So what follows from these findings? So far, if we try to identify lead users, the approach was as follows. If these individuals are users with a different degree of lead userness, the approach was either to screen, which means that a sample of users is being taken and the most lead user, the highest lead user um, was taken. An alternative was the pyramiding approach. This means that the first user is being asked and recommends another one until the most popular, the highest lead user's score person is being identified. Our approach suggests that the network position of lead users is an effective shortcut and that persons who have lead user characteristics also have a specific network position. This suggests that we can identify this lead user, person with the highest lead user score, via a technique that uses the network position that maps the network position of the users. Further research steps can be, how can we improve these techniques?